Hey Insiders! Today we are in front of the Mickey Mouse One, which was Walt Disney's personal plane. And we're going to be talking to Bob Gurr, someone who actually rode on this airplane numerous times throughout his career. Yes, at he has some pretty funny stories about it, and we're also going to tour all the amazing things that this plane did. All There's right. so much Disney history here, it's literally incredible. Well, let's jump right in. We are here at the D23 Expo, and let me tell you, they pulled out all the stops this year, because this year, they flew out Walt Disney's plane that he actually rode in when he was touring Disney World. This is the Mickey Mouse One, and it belonged to none other than Walt Disney. And even cooler than that is that we are sitting down with Disney legend Bob Gurr, so we can tell us stories about when he was actually on this airplane with Walt Disney. So, you've actually flown on this airplane before, right? Yes, I've flown on the airplane with Walt Disney We're in, in wow. January of 1966. We went out trying to sell Epcot to companies like General Electric and Westinghouse uh, for a business trip like that. We don't need a flight attendant because we don't have movie stars or anything. <laughs> so the lowest ranking person is the flight attendant. Uh -huh. And it was a short flight to Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. So the captain said, OK, Bob, you know how to run the kitchen. You serve breakfast. Very cool. Uh, but you usually serve it when it's in cruise. He said, we're going to climb out through turbulence, and you're going to serve Walt first. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, kitchen's in the front, Walt's in the back on the left left side. Uh -huh. I tripped partway down, carrying the tray of his breakfast. Oh, my gosh. Stumbling all the way, and I stopped the tray just before it hit his tie. Oh, my God. <laughs> So yes, uh, I have been a flight attendant on that airplane when Walt was on it. Wow, you, and you almost gave him his breakfast more so than yeah. he wanted. But the funny thing was, in the later years, the airplane wasn't used as much because everybody wanted to go on the jet. Oh. And Disney didn't buy a jet, they kept this airplane. So uh -huh. we all try to avoid it. So. Well, one day it was available and I had some engineers we were doing a transportation job and there's a secret test site Mm -hmm. for railroad transportation in, near Boulder City uh, okay. in uh, Colorado. Uh -huh. So I just wrote out a requisition and a few minutes later came back and said, yeah, your pilots will be ready at Burbank Airport, 8 o'clock in the morning. We got 10 box lunches and uh, by the way, uh, wear boots because you're going. there's rattlesnakes where you're going to go. Oh man, was that Orlando? Or where, oh no, and uh, from Burbank to Denver. Oh, the, wow. The Denver area. Yeah. So anyways, that's a kind of one of the little funny things that most people don't think of. If I needed the airplane, I can have it. Yeah. Right. That's well, cool. And, 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 the and, there, and there's no charge. Right, right. Absolutely. And the box lunches are free. See, not a bad, <laughs> not a bad way to travel, right? Yeah. Not so bad at all. Those are two little stories to do with uh, what the airplane yeah, is perfect. like. No, that's really, really cool. Yeah. It's a beautiful airplane, and I love. Did Walt ever refer to it as the Mickey Mouse One, or did it have a different name back then? Well, it's gone under a bunch of names. Uh, when it was flying across the country, you always go by your tail number. Okay. Like two, three, four, Metro, Metro. Okay. We got away with two, three, four, Mickey Mouse. Oh, oh, that's oh. why. Oh, we were the only corporation to ever get away with not using the correct uh, phonetic name right. for okay. our license number. You know, it's, it was called the tail number or the call sign. Right. right. So the airplane is, is uh, legally known as 234 Metro Metro. Right. But some people call it Mickey Mouse One. Okay. Internally, it was known as the mouse. Just the mouse. The mouse. All right, so All we're right. taking the mouse to uh, Denver, right, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so uh, it's in transition right now. It's got both Mickey Mouse 1 colon Walt's plane. Uh -huh. So eventually, by the time it's restored in Palm Springs for the Palm Springs Museum, yeah. they're going to take it apart tonight and they'll take it on a truck trucks tomorrow morning and they'll be going to Palm Springs tomorrow night. Oh wow, very cool. So can yeah. you visit it? You can visit it in Palm Springs, right? They're going to make uh, it available? Yeah, it'll be officially taken out of out of official service uh -huh. on October 25th uh, when they move it from a temporary hangar to where it's going to permanently live. Okay. Uh, and a company will be doing restoration work on it so it's, it's more restored than it is now. Ah, okay. All it's got is a cute paint job. You know, yeah, it, it does have a good looking paint job. Yeah, <laughs> so so that, that's his history. It'll okay. Be there, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing it, that okay. with, story with us. We appreciate All it a lot. Right. Bob Gurr, everybody. He's All the best. Right. Okay. <laughs> be sure and send me the link. 
All right, you will. And, and you know where I can be found. Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, guys, so obviously we just talked to Bob Gurr, but I wanted to look at some of the things that they have on display here, because this would actually be like the seat that Walt Disney was sitting in when Bob tells the story about almost spilling breakfast on his lap. That is pretty much where Walt was sitting, you know, uh, or at least something like it. What's so cool about this plane is that everything was Disneyfied, including these dials, and even on display was the suit that Tom Hanks wore when he was playing Walt Disney. I love this stuff. What's cool about this plane is they actually used it a lot when they were like scouting out Disney World before Disney World was even a thing. Yeah. So a lot of like the missions that this plane went on with Walt was about Disney World. Was, so like this is like scenes from Walt Disney World. This is this plane flying over uh, Space Mountain actually at Disney World. And so the contemporary. Yeah, look, the contemporary resort literally right there with the monorail going through the center of it. Oh, and, and it says the actually the this, the uh, this um, placard says that it's the final flight. Oh, that makes sense because look at how late in Disney's history it is, right? Like yeah. Magic Kingdom is built. 1992. Like, look at how late in Disney's history it is. You know, Magic Kingdom is built. Wow. 1992. Well, there's a lot of lot of stuff there. So, um, and then just kind of stuff you would see on the plane as well. Right. Some pictures from inside the plane. It's really interesting because I'm so like familiar with modern day planes. That's interesting to see the stuff that was in. Yeah, the planes. planes. Yeah. Tennis shoes. Oh, look, there it is. Yeah, see, there it is. They use the plane. Look how good it looks. Um, yeah, I mean, you can like look at this and then flip right over there. Yeah, that's very impressive. And they were actually using the plane. See, like this is Walt, fourth from the left. Yeah, we all know. <laughs> I could find Walt in any picture, but um, he's right there and he's about to take off. Um, there's a fire in the background, but I don't know why. Um, but they, look, uh, wait, they had everything. A oh. A brush uh, fire. A brush fire. But look, they had everything. They even had these Walt Disney Productions uh, flight bag that they gave to passengers. Yep. They had everything figured out. Here's Walt on the plane just enjoying life. Uh, you can see he had tons of memories there. I think those are his kids probably. Uh, Is that down. Walt and Lillian? I think it's Walt and Lillian. Then you go down one and that's the kids. Um, I could be wrong, but like they love this thing. It was like a house to them, right? They, it was their plane and you can kind of tell and all the different touches of it, how special it was to them. As you can see though, everything was made and like operated by Disney though. This says flight operations manual with a picture of Mickey at Walt Disney Productions. I guess that's a copyright logo, but I mean, everything was Disney. This plane uh, belonged to the company. I think that's really impressive. So one of the things that Bob talked about actually is the layout of the plane. And now the hostess stuff was in the front of the plane and Walt was always in the back plane on the, in the back of the plane on the left. So that means he would like start up here at like the two section and go all the way back into the left at like 25, 26. Well, and here's a um, different like angle of the inside of the plane and what it looked like. But if you look at that picture there, the back of the plane is where the tables and stuff were. So that is probably why Walt spent most of his time back there. He always had to make the and journey as a flight attendant. Over there, Walt is sitting at the tables that Bob was talking about, which is kind of awesome. And look how much they loved it. They had tons of memorabilia like this pop socket. They probably didn't have the pop socket back in the day. But, <laughs> But um, something like or the it, maybe. Case, but all the Walt Disney Productions things. There's a Funko Pop now. I, you know, this Funko Pop's always been there. I can just tell. <laughs> no, uh, that's pretty awesome. Has some incredible stories, and we're so grateful that he shared them with us. I know. Oh, yeah. We're here at the D23 Expo, where we got to see the Mickey Mouse one. It was amazing. It yeah. is going to live in Palm Springs very soon, so that'll be awesome. Yes, yes. it's going to be super cool. But thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Follow see us you next more. time. Bye. Bye.